Ah. Yes. Hello everyone, this is Ricardo Review. You know as fishermen you dream that you can fish at any time, anywhere, anyhow? This may be the solution for you. So on this tube I have a rod from Pure Lure that it's very very affordable. I paid for this I think 22 euros. Right now it's hovering at 25 dollars. But if we check it after the we take out the cardboard tube. Sorry for the noise. And this piece of bubble wrap and the sleeve. And I think I will have to speed up this part because I'm yet to disassemble this rod. Yes. So right now you can see they even give you a spare tip if you break the original. You have the tag in here from Pure Lure. This will not have a tag Ooh. from Fuji Guides because it doesn't have Fuji Guides. This is a very, very budget friendly rod. They also have a sort of similar version. Actually, they have 11 rods that you can buy on the same page and they go from this very, very simple one to a similar to this one with Fuji Guides to a fancier one with Fuji Guides into a very, very fancy one with Fuji Guides and a butt that comes out. But mine is the cheapest. It's an overing around $25. Even at $25, you get this awesome rod protector. It's very, very hard. It will protect your rod very, very well because the idea of this is to put it on the sling pack always ready. So my idea, if I take this out, it's to have this rod always ready to fish whatever I want, a little bit of BFS action on my life. Oh, it's... Even though it says pure lure, the rod itself, it says nice lure on the real seat. But speaking a little bit more of the other rods that you have there, you will have uh, only two sizes, so 1.5 and 1.75 meters. And they are light, ultra light, they go from ultra fancy to fancy to simple, like this one. Uh, I will put some screenshots of the fancier ones so you know what they are and what I'm speaking about. And right now on the same page that, that you can buy this for $25, uh, you can also get the fancy ones for around 60 and they are very, very cool looking rods. But speaking about this one, I wanted it for, as I told you, for a sling back. Uh, I will probably put a cheap reel in it like the Akura and this will allow me to PFS whatever I want without having a two-part rod disassemble with line going like this and probably a lure sticking on the on the end of it because as you know if you use snaps the snaps will never go through the first guide and then it's a hassle because you take them off the line goes inside of the spool on your casting reel and it's a mess and you lose like 10 15 minutes just getting your setup ready that's why i got this uh, the version that i have it's a 1.75 meter light rod uh, so five foot nine. Um, the weight is surprisingly low for a telescopic rod. So this rod only weighs 76 grams, 2.6 ounces. And the shrink down size, it's only 34 centimeters or about 13 inches. So this rod, as I can show you right now, has a very, very thin tip for a telescopic rod, even for a BFS rod. So 1.1 millimeters. It also has seven guides, which is not common for a, even this price point normal rod, two part rod. It has some floating guides that I don't like, but you have to live with them on um, 
telescopic rods and if we stretch it it's actually a decent looking rod with some nice fluorescent work on the guides so i will not put my pure lure silver feather in here i will not put my magic lr i will put probably the akura the rest of the specs on this rod so the lure rating it's from 1 to 7 or 2 to 8 and the line rating it's from 2 to 8 pounds so i would stick with maybe a 6 pound braid so it will break at around 5 4 pounds the tip it's very very light i will not go as high as 8 pound breakage point or you will ruin your telescopic rod even though as i showed you in the beginning they send you a spare tip so really enough of talking and more fishing here is the rod in action sorry for the croups and grainy image it was i was on a shade and i'm trying to protect as well as i can the fishing spot because all of the douchebags that take everything from the lake ah i missed the first while retrieving my soft plastic but i didn't miss the second yes. and the rod is not as soft as it looks very 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 close to me as i managed to pin the fish with no problems and drag it until me try to not break the rod maybe a paper straw rod made of burger king straws but other than that i don't think this little fellow will break anything barely hooked on a very very simple rig with a size 6 ewg hook a 40 millimeter super continent craw and a 3 gram shab weight so another one is christian today is going very 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 well yeah i just finished caught my biggest bass yet the 17 incher and right now i just changed spots and i'm trying to fish around uh, cutted logs and grass a lot of hits from smaller fish as you can see me here pulling harder and i hooked another one, another one. but i think barely probably the same side ah not that bad because i didn't really want to go there i'm just coping with the loss but nevertheless very very good spot as I try again and again around the same um, log to catch another one even though they are small they are still fun they are still bass and there it is another one broad again working very very well again sorry another for one. The weird effects on the video I'm just trying to save these little guys from the fryer and i have to say even though they are small all of them seem healthy with big fat bellies and i don't think there's a case of a stunt population on this lake they are very well fed for sure and in here my last capture on a very very crappy day where i took my sub board to test again the meredith humming bird on a shorter rod and I caught again, I think maybe smaller than usual, also on a craw different color, purple one, but again it was the only thing they were biting. This is a very very cool soft plastic that works very well. Thank you! Last one of the day, a uh, bigger one, uh, very very nice and healthy bass, I pulled this one off the grass with a rod, had no problems with it. I can say this is comfortably a very very affordable and nice combo to use while traveling or to keep on your car on a backpack uh, it folds very very nicely and it's able to manage this size of fish very very good size bass with no problems and let's release it with the releasing of the bass i will say goodbye to you I'll see you next time